part of the info world is dogbits dopio's partnership with dogbits on supplier invoice automation is 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 um, is buzzing on on linkedin and lot of other social media platforms uh, can you talk about that how you know how uh, ocr uh, innovation in ai especially that dopio along with uh, dogbits is is driving uh, most of our uh, clients to uh, being automate uh, and saving costs in that process and also using cutting edge technologies like ai uh, in that journey thanks pra thank you pranav uh, so when we talk about ap automation when there are when when a specific customer has multiple suppliers and multiple suppliers uh, tend to send multiple type of documents uh, let's talk about invoices when they uh, when a particular customer or a buyer receives multiple invoices they usually employ or uh, deploy a uh, ocr technology which is ocr stands for optical character recognition and that technology uh, what it basically does is it uh, takes a scanned document or uh, also handwritten documents and those documents it scans it and then it passes on the data in more uh, you know data format and it it uh, sends it to uh, the receiving party so in case of dogbits and how uh, what dogbits does is it caters to several challenges that existing ocr systems had so existing ocr systems were uh, having issues with accuracy of the information that was being fetched uh, and having cumbersome uh, uh, coding that was required also it wasn't smart enough to validate the data information that was being received and so what dogbit does is it uses a uh, ai technology which it, uh, they call it as swarm intelligence and swarm intelligence what it does basically is it takes um, so let's say there is a supplier x and customer uh, which 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 is a supplier to customer a and also to a customer b and if the documents are being trained for customer a so the uh, rules are ready for uh, customer b to use those uh, uh, rules so uh, what it basically does is it saves a lot of time for customer b to you know uh, actually uh, uh, onboard the new supplier so in case of i, I would like to highlight uh, about uh, one supplier the amazon uh, amazon uh, happens to be the supplier for uh, multiple of our customers and uh, dogbits was able to achieve 100% accuracy for invoices that are uh, being processed uh, through yeah uh, 100% uh, in a ai space is AI space is, is almost unreal which is phenomenal and uh, they were able to achieve it so what uh, how how suppliers basically send the documents to uh, uh, an erp system like in for m3 is they first email the invoices they can either uh, send an email to the dogbits uh, uh, email address or they can send uh, or drop the files in an sftp location then uh, dogbits classifies the documents so it not only uh, caters to invoices but there are it caters to several other uh, documents like credit note debit note uh, proof of delivery uh, and several other documents and it classifies those those documents and it uh, fetches the information and passes on to the receiving party so uh, one more cool feature it has is about workflows so it it uh, has its own workflows in case of uh, invoice needs some approval so they have their own workflow system in it i'm uh, you know so automation and workflows ai all clubbed with uh, you know some of the latest bouquets of technology that we have uh, how does idm um, uh, integration with docbits how does that work uh, yeah, you know it, 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 does that have a role in that uh, integration process as well yes so it it basically is a more of configuration with idm uh, the configuration is done via ion apis uh, they have their own uh, documentation of apis and those apis need to be uh, you know uh, registered in infor uh, ios uh, infor uh, system uh, and once those are registered in the api suite those are responsible for calling in uh, or receiving the information within idm the documents can be sent archived within idm that is great 
it is great uh, so this is where dogbits plays in parts and and as as uh, uh, as erp integrators we play the part in configuration um what are the challenges uh, anagor athar if any of you want to take this up uh, is uh, you know once once dogbits is integrated what are the kind of finance uh, 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 challenges that we face when we integrate and what are the m3 challenges that our clients face so one of the challenges that uh, were f uh, being faced by our uh, clientele were uh, having a validation processes so what validation processes dogbits employ is a three way po matching so it receives the po information from an m3 it matches the uh, it checks on the invoices what information has been received against that po if those uh, if that uh, information matches if it does not match then what it does it, it triggers an alert and it uh, sends out an workflow or task to a specific group of users uh, with respect to uh, challenges in finance i would like to uh, hand it over to athar so athar bhai you want to add something to the apart from po matching what are the other challenges that our clientele face yeah so these challenges are normally we have seen in other uh, ap integration uh, uh, software or product but not in dogbit because uh, when we had uh, a, uh, ap automation integration with uh, m3 so normally we see few challenges one is like uh, debit note uh, creation so for example if uh, invoices have their difference invoices has a difference uh, with po while matching uh, while doing three way matching so there is always need of issuing or creating a debit note so that we in book invoices fully in m3 and in addition to that we issue a debit note to a supplier that is one of the requirement or mostly most of or even say i i would say 100% uh, business needs the second one is a three way matching normally what happens uh, three way matching requires to match your invoice with the receipt that is receipt is internally generated and it doesn't come with the supplier and that is a challenges which we see uh, with the customer when they do match uh, with the receipt if they don't match then there is a require uh, there is a always a chances of uh, extra work manual effort to reconcile that and everybody want to uh, reconcile and the third uh, there is one uh, another challenge which we see invoice charge uh, in purchase order we may or may not have a charge but on invoices these are these charges are there for example when there is a contract between supplier and the company supplier mention in the terms that charges over and above purchase order will be given on the invoice and that we need to automate and one is uh, like uh, definitely there is a purchase order there may be no no purchase order okay so if supplier just issue invoice without po it should be properly posted to a correct accounting string normally uh, if we just scan any invoice through a doc we don't need other applications and if uh, we don't care about which gl account should it go then for example if my i receive invoice related to uh, sales and promotions or advertisement expenses so it should be posted to correct gl account instead of posting in clearing account so that user comes and they spend time and correct it so that need to be avoided and this need to be automated no uh, human intervention is to be done so that is another challenge which dogbit fulfills very perfectly using uh, accounting module they have a specific module <coughs> and uh, there is one another one that is uh, invoice for service item so uh, there may be purchase order of a service item and if it require it has uh, certain charges on the po and also on invoice uh, so m3 has certain challenges to match it so it causes an error so that we discuss with dogbit and dogbit develop a solutions where uh, based on the certain scenario certain parameter if they send the strings or data in m3 it doesn't result into error so it is getting automatically automated for payment and it is also uh, booked in the right gl account and the last one which i see that is of course it is uh, part of uh, our automation process that is email notification going to the right user who is processing the invoice in case of an error that should be also uh, triggered as and when required not every time like if user gets email every time then they may be frustrated why i am getting so much email but <laughs> <laughs> no, that's but true. if there is an error definitely this need to be notified to the users all these challenges i have seen in different application but in uh, doc bits uh, with our proper partnership with them working with them they already automated this solution as a standard as and yes. when they needed they can 
do a plug and play and they can solve it to customers. Yeah, looks like Dogbits and Dopio partnership has a head yeah, start yeah. in this.